One thing I should disclose is that I'm friends with uh, Sandy's son, Dan. I've been sailing against him for years since I was a kid, just like with Karen. And I've, of course, been around while he tows half of St. Margaret's Bay Sailing Club to Cork here in Kingston. I've also, uh, you may not really appreciate me telling the story. I don't know if Dan will dislike it or Sandy will dislike it more, but I've even witnessed his unique parenting style dealing with Dan. Dan had his first hangover here at Cork, and Sandy brought him a glass of what he thought was water, which was actually a full glass of vodka just to teach him a lesson about that. But back to Sandy sailing. So he com continued to keep uh, competing in advance over the years, uh, transatlantic on a Swan 80, offshore program with Triple Indy, and John Risley's IRC program. He's even uh, brought his whole family for uh, six months to sail to Bahamas, um, and that's a passion for sailing, because I believe they were all under 12 years old at the time, all three of them. He loves sailing in the incredible Blue Nose fleet in Chester. There's something like uh, 30 Blue Noses on the start line at once. Um, and you can, as I said earlier, you can pretty much find him uh, tuning up something, some boat that's in Halifax at any given weekend or any event going on, um, including my own dad's boat as well. Today you can still find Andreas Glenn and uh, sometimes Sandy racing against each other in the sonar fleet on Thursdays in Lunenburg at the Yacht Club there. And that's just a few kilometers down the road from North Sales, the sail off that Sandy continues to run. So Sandy, please come up and accept your induction into the Canadian uh, Sailing Hall of Fame. Well, first, thank you to the committee, Rob Mazza and John Kerr and other members of the committee who put in some hard evenings and no doubt weekends getting this ready and all the other parts of, this, of, the, of the event in these tough times. And um, sailing for me is a life sport. It's a life sport for all of us, I think. And that's one of the beautiful things that sets us or our sport apart from others. Other sports, you do it, you leave, and on you go. In sailing, you do it, find something else to do, find something else to do, find another boat to sail. And the thing that runs through it all is you may not remember all the details of every regatta you ever sailed, although Andreas is pretty good at that. <laughs> he remembers a lot of stuff. But you remember the friends you made along the way, the fun, stupid stuff we did, didn't get caught, sometimes we did. And so for me, my life's journey has been about sailing, sailing with Andreas, sailing with Glenn, sailing with other members of the Nova Scotia sailing community and some of you here even as well. And so yeah, Paul Elfstrom was once asked by a reporter, what's your best sailing memory? And he just said, a good race. The reporter didn't really get it because the same feeling that we all feel when we have a good race or a good time in the water, that's the best feeling in sailing. So I'll leave you with all of that. Thank you.